So there you go, you've got a nice data set there. They're all selected. If you press right click again, you open up all the options you can do with that particular data set. Now this is now the difference between advanced and standard level settings. If you're in advanced settings, you get X on Y regression line. You get the language of an advanced student, so you'll get the regression line language. If you're in standard level and you do the same thing, you'll get a much shorter list of things you can do. You certainly don't get matrix tran transformations and shearing and so on. That's just not appropriate for lower level students or lower, lower um, younger students. You'll get things like line of best fit which is much more appropriate for those those students okay so you could perhaps you know swap in between the two levels see what kind of information you get up there so if we stick a regression line in it's going to give you a line of best fit okay. now there are things you can do with that you can put on residuals if you were talking to <coughs> advanced students so in order to put residuals on you need to have your points selected and you need to tell Autograph to look at the line as well. So we'll have the line and we'll have the points selected and it will tell you that you can put the residuals on. So we could press that. You can have the residuals put on as squares. So students will be able to see that the line of best fit is where the smallest squares are and so on. Or if you wanted to, you could have them on as lines, which is a lot neater. I think. Did you get the residuals from the residuals we got. I had to tell Autograph to select the data points and use that particular line. So I had them both selected, I right clicked, and that's when it came up in the menu. How do you go between boxes and lines? Right, you need, you need to select the object that's just been put on. So double click select, and that brings me back to any edit boxes or any boxes that you have to set in order to do it so double click on it again so double click on them and then it comes up and you can swap between the two okay so let's have some squares on there so there we go right now that's automatically given you the line of best fit yeah so it's bound to give you the smallest boxes and there's no way, apart from grabbing hold of one of the points and moving it around, that you're going to get anything to have changed. So let's try and do it so that we can see these boxes changing as you're approaching your line of best fit. So I want you to take off those residuals. So I want you to select them by one left click and just delete them. Let's get rid of them. Okay. All lines of best fit go through the average point, go through what's called the centroid in Autograph. It puts on this centroid point. So I'm going to set up another line, and this line's going to be movable. I'm going to be able to move it around and show that the residuals are going to come small when I approach the line of best fit. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to select the data points. And I'm going to put on the centroid point. Now you've got to be a bit eagle-eyed here because it's very small when it comes on. And bear in mind it's going to be on that line as well. So I'm going to select the centroid and it's there, see? And it's in pink on a blue line. So you've got to be very, very, you know, eagle-eyed where it is. It's there, see? On mine. Okay. So I'm going to back to select. And I'm going to stick another line on and it's going to pass through that centroid point. Notice, my data set is one object that's lit up when I select it. That one's not been selected. The line is another data set, another object, and my centroid there is a third object. There's three things actually laid on that screen at the moment. I'm going to put my own just general point on, and I'm going to put a line between that general point that I've just put on and my centroid point. So I've selected the centroid and I've selected another point that I've put on. It's not in the data set, that's why it's grey. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to put a straight line on. Okay, so this line now is my line and I can move that wherever I like. So the point that I put on for myself is now movable. Okay, and it'll slide up and down and do what I like with it. Right, so now I'm going to put the residuals on, but instead of putting them on via that line of best fit, I'm going to put them on with that line. 
So I'm going to select the data points, tell it to use that line, and say, put the residuals on for me. And I'll put the squares on. Okay? So it's now put the residuals on, on this line that I've produced, not the line of best fit. Now if I grab hold of that point, wish it wouldn't do that fancy ring around, and I drag it closer and closer to the line of best fit, it's very visual that you can see all the residuals and all the boxes are going very small when I actually hit the line of best fit. Okay. Now this is something you might want to set up before you go into a classroom. And if you do that and you save your file, what usually happens is you set it up and you're, nice, you're happy and you're using it in a classroom and then three or four months later on you come and you open up the file and you go, oh yeah, I remember that. You can move it around and all the boxes go bigger and smaller. Which point do I move? Can't remember which point to move. So what I do, what I tend to do is the point you put on, stick a circle on it. So it's nice and small. So we'll put a little circle on there, 0.2 radius. Oh, that's a bit very, very small, isn't it? Should we do that again? Tell you what. Stick a circle on there. Let's put a one. Let's put a nice big circle on it. There we go. So look, this is the point you move. Yeah? And then when you open it up in a few, you know, in a few months' time, you go, oh yeah, I remember it now. Yeah? So you can grab hold of it and just flick it around and make it look pretty. Okay? You follow all that? Yes. No? We undo all that, just bring it all the way back again. Right, so what I did, I put my data set on and I've actually got my line of best fit. I then put a centroid point on and I did that by selecting the data set, right clicking and saying put the centroid on for me. Okay, and I click that and I got that point there, which is in purple. No. Okay. Select your point, right click, residual, uh, regression line. Okay. X or Y regression line? Uh, y on X. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that one there, and you'll get your line of best fit on. You put your centroid on, so we selected the points, put the centroid on, and that as I say, very small, you have to be eagle-eyed to see that one. I then decided to put my own line on, so I then put a point of my choosing onto the screen. So via point mode, I just put a point on. So that was my choosing, I just dropped one on. And then I created a line between the point that I put on and the centroid. So I selected both of them and put a straight line on. That was right click and put a straight line in. At that point, I can move that line around. I then selected the data set and the line and asked it to put residuals on. That was with squares. Whoa, huge ones there. And then I can alter that now and bring it to the line of best fit and it's they are it's the smallest. Okay? So that's that's a nice little thing there with scatter diagrams. Okay? And I'll say if you were in um, standard mode, so we just I'll just very quickly switch over into standard. The looks very similar, but this time when you have your data set selected, it will say line of best fit instead. So it won't mention about regression lines or anything like that. It will say line of best fit. And of course, you don't get all the matrix transformations as well. So that's why sometimes it's useful to be in standard mode. But as I say, I tend always to be in advanced. Okay? So that's quite neat. That's quite a nice little thing to play around with.